ready for one week's change. This morning we're going to meet Maureen and her little daughter Megan. They've travelled all the way from Victoria this morning and hopefully we can give them some really good news. We've got the Ear Institute waiting on the line. Let's see what we can do for them. Who have we got with us today? Right, this morning we welcome Loreen and her daughter, little five-year-old Megan, who's very excited because she's missing school this morning. Okay. She's been jumping around studio. Can you not go to today? Megan, can you not go to today? No, it's lekker. It's a bit of a vacancy, no? So Megan was born with a chromosome disorder that has is yet to be diagnosed. Mm. And one of the conditions she has is impaired hearing, but maybe Lorene can tell us a little bit more about what she's gone through with Megan in the last few years. Morning, Lorene. Morning, Darren. How are you doing today? I'm good, and you? All right, thanks. All right, tell us about uh, tell us about little Megan. Well, my Me Megan was born. Um, the doctors was of the opinion that she had Down syndrome. Um, a couple of tests were done, um, and all the genetic testing that was done on her came back negative. So um, almost six years down the line, we still don't know what, what genetic disorder she has. Mm. Um, as it is now, Megan has a hearing problem. She wears two hearing aids, uh, obviously one in both in each ear. She has a heart defect and then she was also born without tear ducts. Now her ophthalmologist has been in the business for 20 years. He's never ever seen somebody born with, with no tear ducts. Um, we are basically waiting for tear ducts to be imported from London as it is with her now because there's no supplies in South Africa that supplies the tear ducts that she basically needs. We've done a couple of operations for that but none were successful. I didn't even know that you could actually import and uh, and transplant tear ducts. It's quite amazing. Yeah, medical uh, advancement these days is just unbelievable. It is quite mm. amazing. So yeah, she um, basically sees a pediatric cardiologist once a year because she has a heart defect. She's got a little hole in her heart. She was When she was born she actually had four three of them um, closed on their own which was quite a miracle on its own because the cardiologist said that um, that doesn't happen so three of them closed on their own and she's still left with one at this stage it's not really that bigger issue doctor said that she will operate once Megan becomes more active and and you know it's it starts bugging her mm. Um, she's in mainstream school at the moment. Cognitively, there's absolutely nothing wrong with her. We did a, a school readiness test with her in February. She passed with flying colours. Some of the subjects that they tested her on, she scored superior. Wow. So, so our main aim basically is to keep her in mainstream school at the moment. Um, school uh, thinks she needs an FM system where teacher's voice basically gets amplified into... Um, a transmitter she then wears a receiver amplifies teacher's voice because at the moment her hearing aids amplifies everything okay so she um, gets a lot of uh, sort of surrounding noise the as white well. noise bugs her yeah. you know a lot of what it, the teacher tells her to do gets lost with that um so yeah we we're at the stage now where we have um, a speech therapist, an occupational therapist, um, an educational psychologist at school looking after her. And they have the opinion that she can stay in mainstream if, if we have um, things in place like an FM system mm. and so forth. So you need your own radio station in the classroom. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, we'd love to give you this one, but uh, we're busy with it at the moment. So, <laughs> wow, so many, uh, so many issues to have to deal with. And yeah. uh, what in your school? What's the school? Um, Taichiland. Taichiland. Okay. Well, let's see, um, Hayley, what we can uh, what we can do for a little Megan and Lorene. That's uh, very important because uh, I suppose if she, she wants to get an education, she needs to be able to hear what the teacher's saying. And this FM system costs 33,000 rand. What? 33,000 33, 33, rand. And obviously, as Lorene said, they're going to so many specialists Yo. and the expenses are incredibly high mm. that this is just something they can't afford at the moment. Wow. 33,000 rand is a lot of money. Have we got somebody on the phone? Yes. Is it Nico van der Merwe of the Ear Institute? Nico, goedemorgen. Good morning. Welcome to the show from the Ear Institute. Thank you very much for getting in touch with us. Great. Thank you. It's nice to be on the show. Okay, Nico. Uh, I think you were listening and heard the uh, the story of little little Megan, who's here with her mom, Loreen, and uh, they are listening to you right now. So, so go ahead. Um, 
Noreen, we'd, from the Air Institute side, we'd like to donate your FM systems to you. Wow. And also, what we'd like to have a look at is Megan's current hearing aids and see whether they're still suitable. So we'll do a complete evaluation. If not, we'll also replace them for you. Wow, that is amazing, Nico. That is really, really amazing. Thank you. Gee. So, it's an absolute pleasure. All right, so that that, uh, that FM system, as they call it, uh, 33,000 rands worth of uh, that FM system, and you're going to be giving that uh, to them so that Megan will be able to listen to and hear her teacher properly in class. Yes, no, it's an absolute pleasure. Um, Megan, what was spicy lump? Um, spicy bread. Spicy bread. Spicy bread. That is my law school work. That is what is the competitory of. Okay, well, that's it. It's a wonderful law school. Well, there we go. Also paying something back for your uh, school where you where you went as well. That's uh, that's so awesome to hear. And uh, Nico, we really appreciate it. and a big thank you to the uh, institute. Where are you guys based, by the way? Um, in Queenswood. So I'll send my contact details and we'll get Megan into Africa as soon as possible. All right. So you're going to do an assessment for Megan. You're going to look at her hearing aids that she currently uses. And, uh, and then also sort out that FM system for her. We really appreciate it, the Air Institute, uh, for stepping forward this morning and helping us out here on, uh, on One Wings of Change. And uh, you have a great week. What's left of it, Nico? Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well. There we go. Nico van der from the Air Institute. Apologies for the quality of the line. So, Lorene, I think it's a big, uh, a big thing you don't have to worry about anymore. And, and um, her audiologist told me about a week ago that her hearing aids are outdated. So... There we go. So an added bonus there. Over yeah. and above that, you're also going to have the hearing aid sorted out. Wow. There we go. I'm speechless. Thank you so much. I mean, your pleasure. That's why we're here for the One Wings of Change. And thank you for uh, for letting us know about uh, little Megan. I promise you, uh, everyone came in here thought she was part of Joburg's Hardest Kids because she's been bouncing around to the music <laughs> and uh, having such a good time here. Uh you your day off? Okay, Megan? Okay. And lekker dag for your word. And genieten your new FM system, your FM radio starts with what you can sell for you. Okay? Okay. That's it. There we go. That's little Megan and Lorene. And that is the One Wings of Change today. Remember that email address, wings with a Z at balls with a Z dot co dot za. And big thanks to Kim who sent us the email nominating oh, was it, Lorene. Was it Kim that nominated? So yes. there we go. Who is Kim, by the way? You won't believe this. I actually don't know Kim. You're kidding me. No, I've never met her personally. Wow. Um, I used to belong to a forum on the internet called Babynet. Yeah. When I had my kids, it's a whole lot of mommies asking for advice mm. and all kinds of things. And I met Kim on there and she sent me a Facebook request subsequently. And so she's my Facebook friend. I've never, ever met her in my life. Wow, I didn't realize. I thought that you had contacted us directly. So no. there it is. And again, and it's, uh, it's such a joy when there's uh, people like complete strangers. Like other Kim than, that actually care. You know, other than wow. people on the web. Yeah. That, uh, that 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 come forward and tell us about uh, people like yourselves, and then we can step in and help. Thank Fantastic, you. Kim. Thank, thank you very you, much, Lorene, Thank you, Megan. Bye, donkey. Like a for your word. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> that is your uh, one wings of change this morning. As always, in proud partnership with one for insurance done right and our good friends at Auto Call.